Uh, <laughs> so that's how you start a video. You just start yelling. That is what they call audience engagement or audience divorce. It could go either way. But anyway, Comic-Con has come and gone. Why am I slouching? What's wrong with me? I'm sitting here. Hello! Would you like to see the things I have procured at the convention? Sign sweater! Sign sweater! What the stream up, man? Jeez. There we go. Shoulders back, chest out. There we go. Proper posture. Yes! Okay. <laughs> so yes, Where's the World of Philadelphia has come and gone. It was a good time, as it always is. Had some fun. It did seem pretty small this year. I don't know. It just seemed not as, uh... Not as grandiose as it usually is. Um, it seemed kind of small this year, but still a good time nonetheless. Um, still, you know, tired. Um, still, I'm feeling a little, a little sick. I think I might have caught something while I was there because I woke up this morning and the room was kind of spinning a little bit, and I'm still feeling, still feeling a little. A little, little, little dizzed up, but I'm okay. Hopefully I don't get like full-blown sick, but yeah, I might have caught a little something there. Don't know, but hey, it happens. There's a lot of people there, you know, uh, you know. but it is what it is. But anyway, um, as always, I did meet some uh, some viewers while I was there, which I, this is my tongue stops working, which is always cool. Uh, who did I meet? I met uh, Liam. I saw Liam there, um, very cool dude. I saw E.S. Cutler, who I see there every year. Always nice to see him. I saw, uh, uh, I have to look it up because I actually just forgot your name, dude. I'm so sorry. Um, he was going to the convention and he, he also was meeting me up there because he bought something from me. So uh, he got the personal delivery. Um, Jamie Rod, that's what he goes by on Twitter. Met him and his lovely family, very cool dude. His kids are awesome, um, his wife is awesome. Very cool to uh, meet him and his family. Um, and also there was one guy that uh, walked into us that I actually forgot to ask you your name. We were sitting, we, you, know, you know who you are. Like we were at the table, I was just kind of getting my stuff together and you said, are you Emgo? And you got a picture with me. I totally forgot to ask you what your name was. I am so sorry, but you know who you are. It was great meeting you and um, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much it. That didn't actually run into a lot of viewers there. Um, I'm sure there were probably more of you there, but we just didn't cross paths at any point. But, you know, it happens. It's the con. There's a lot of people there. So, you know, it's kind of needle in a haystack when you're trying to actually find somebody or something. But um, it is what it is. But, yeah, good time as always. But now it is time to show off the haul. What did I buy at Comic-Con this year? Um, what are we going to show off? Uh... Well, first we'll start off with um, actual comic book. It's rare that I actually buy comics at Comic-Con, which is funny, but um, I found this. It was only $5, and I haven't read it. So we have uh, Xena, Dark Xena. I haven't read this. So, yeah, got this. It was only 5 bucks. So there you go. Actually, got a comic book at Comic-Con. Yay! So that's number one. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I'll show this off now. Um... I did get a, uh, a wrestling figure. They were, uh, you know, there's always a booth with a whole bunch of wrestling figures. And I found her and I got it. So I got Ruby Riot. I love Ruby. I think she's awesome. I think she's awesome in my personal opinion. Um, so sad they haven't given her a title run. I don't know why. She deserves a title run. But she's going to be out for a long time now because she got shoulder surgery on one side and now she's getting it on the other. So she's going to be out for probably the better part of a year, which sucks. But I love Ruby. I think she's awesome. And this chick deserves a title run. Gave her a title run, WWE. Anyway, but yeah, I got a Ruby Riot. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, I got these right here. These are magnets. They're meant for your cars, but I don't have a car, so I'm going to put them on the fridge. But I got a uh, Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman magnets there. So those are cool. So those are going up on the fridge. So we got that. Um,. What else? What else? What else? Uh, I'm just trying to suss out here what I have. Um, yeah, we'll show this off now. Um, there's always this booth at Comic Con that sells. Um, I think they're I think they're resin. I'm not sure what they're made of, but I think they're resin um, uh, movie prop kits. And uh, they're there every year. And I saw this and I had to get it. I got a little uh, little dark helmet. <laughs> I had to get this. This is one of my favorite movies of all time. Love Spaceballs. Um, 
So yeah, got a little dark helmet. Apparently this is molded from the actual prop. If that is true, I don't know. But if it is, that's really cool. So yeah, a little dark helmet figure from the scene where he's playing with his dolls. I wish I wish they had a Princess Vespa so I can actually do Kiss me! No, no, no! Oh, oh. Your helmet is so big. I didn't see you playing with your dolls again. Anyway, but yeah, got a dark helmet. That's really cool. I love that movie, so. I had to get a little dark helmet. Um, that sounded weird. I had to get a little dark helmet. Anyway, um, so what else? I did get some pops. Um, I'm not a big pop collector. I don't, you know, I don't have like a huge collection of pops. I do have some pops. I'll buy one here and there if it tickles my fancy, if it's something I really like. Um, so I did get a couple pops. Um, but yeah, when I learned of the existence of this one, I didn't even know this was out, but once I learned of it, um, I had to get it. And this is another one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, Little Shop of Horrors, Audrey 2, I had to get this. Oh, come on, feed me, Simo. I just had to, I had to. Oh my God. I, I, oh. How else are we gonna get this character in plastic form? I mean, really, come on. Oh, I love it. Next we have everybody else too. But yeah, no, I just, I just wanted Audrey too. Just wanted Audrey too. So I'm happy, and it's the Chase version as well. The limited edition Chase version has like blood, blood in his mouth and everything, because somebody just fed him. You know, I don't know. Probably Mr. Mr. Mushnick. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I got that. Uh, got Jack Torrance from The Shining. I thought this was too cool to pass up. It actually says Red Rum on the window there in blood which was really cool i love that so got jack torrance another one of my favorite movies of all time i have a lot of favorite movies but definitely love the shining it's a classic it's a classic um this one Lori bought for me she bought me a pop and uh this is from the uh the 80th anniversary of batman and it is a uh the michael keaton batman it's a very cool love that Yay! I'm Batman! Yeah, yeah. Love Michael Keaton Batman. My favorite Batman. Still my favorite Batman. And um, also, I saw this and I thought it was really cool and um, I had to get it because, you know, this has some more significance now. But yeah, Stan Lee, Stan the Man. Love that. Really cool. I had to get this. The box, you know, the, the window's a bit scratched up here on the sides, but I don't care, man. It's Stan the Man. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. But yeah, really cool. Really, really cool. Let's see, read that if you want to. But yeah. Really cool. Stan the Man. Love you, man. Love you. But, um, what else? What else? Uh, I did buy a sword this year. Um, Seems like every year I buy a sword also. Uh, so I did find this and I had to pick this up because I thought it was too cool. I got uh, Wonder Woman's God Killer. I got the God Killer sword here, which is quite nice. Really, really cool. Look at that, look at it. You know, it's not a 100% accurate replica, but it's still cool. Hey, it was only 70 bucks. Why not? Dare I say why not? I got it. It's really cool. I like it. So yay. I got me a god killer sword. I'm ready to kill some gods. So there you go. So we got that. Um, I did get some Transformers stuff. Um, there's always this booth every year that sells uh, 3D printed stuff and they also do light switch plates. And they had this cool Autobot symbol light switch plate. So I thought that was really cool. So I picked that up. Um, and uh, they also, it's funny because they also sell Buddhas with different character heads on them. They have like a Darth Vader, Buddha, Boba Fett. They have an Optimus Prime Buddha, which I always almost buy and I never do. Maybe one of these years I'm probably going to buy one. But yeah, they have an Optimus Prime Buddha. And uh, yeah, here's their website if you want to check them out. There you go. You can see there the, the Yoda. They got Darth Vader in there and Boba Fett right here. So... That's really cool. So if you want to check out their website, there it is right there. You can check out what they have. But yeah, cool. Light switch plates. That's going to go on the basement light switch. So I'm going to swap that out when I'm done putting this uh, putting this video out. But um, 
And I also got some, uh, I got some coasters. I got some practical stuff too. I got some coasters right here. So I got a very nice, uh, these were like four for, uh, I forget how much the deal was, like four, four for some price. So uh, Lori got a Wonder Woman one and I got a, uh, got a cool Autobot symbol one. You can see these are really nicely done. Look at that. Nice and shiny and metallic. That's really cool. And they have a nice uh, soft padded underside as well. So some nice, really well done coasters. They're made out of like ceramic. Really nice coasters. Got an Autobot symbol. And also, to go with it, a uh, Decepticon symbol. You can barely see that. There it is. Ah! <laughs> Decepticon symbol right there. And also, because again, I love this movie so much and I thought this was just hilarious, Spaceballs the Coaster! I had to get it. I had to get it. <laughs> there you go. And this is from uh, that guy with the coasters. And uh, here's his, here's the information if you want to check them out. If that will ever focus, there we go. So if you want to check him out, there you go. You can see what he has. has lots of stuff from pretty much every franchise, like Marvel stuff, DC, Game of Thrones, whatever you're into, he probably has a coaster of it. So very, very cool. So we got that. Um, I also got some... Uh, Transformers decals here, all about the Sunticon symbol right there. I'm going to put these on my laptop. So, these are cool. So, I got this. And I did get an actual Transformer, and uh, every year I always seem to walk away with a G1 toy, and this year I walked away with a G1 toy, and this year our G1 grab was a G1 Weird Wolf. Yay! And he's actually in pretty good shape. He's a little dusty. He needs to be cleaned off, but it's actually in pretty good condition. So, yay! I got a Weird Wolf. Um, I probably will review this guy at some point. Why not? Why not? You see, you guys seem to like the G1 review, so hey, maybe I'll, I'll, I'll most likely do a, a, a review in G1. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. I can't speak anymore. My brain is still half shut down from the weekend. I'll probably put up a review of uh, G1 Weird Wolf at some point. So, yay for Weird Wolf. So we got that, and this is from, I got this from uh, Toys and Comic Heaven. So again, they do have a website, so if you want to check them out, there it is, right there. There you go. So if you want to check them out, you can check their website. That's what you do with websites, you check it out. Okay, so I'm splicing this in here because I totally forgot to bring these down when I was setting everything up, but I did also get some, uh, some art books. Um, at the con, and I got the uh, Batman v Superman art book. Say what you will about this movie, I liked it. I personally enjoyed it. And I also got the uh, Justice League art book. Again, say what you will, I like this movie. Um, and I also got this one, The Road to Avengers Infinity War. So I got that also. That's pretty cool. So yeah, got some art books. Yay for books. And um, that is pretty much it. We have one more thing. We're gonna do an unboxing here today. That's right, we're gonna do an unboxing. Um, if you remember last year, I bought a Transformers mystery box, which was $50 and the stuff inside wasn't all that great. It was okay. It was all right. Um, I'm sure the stuff individually would come up to 50 bucks, but it didn't feel like 50 bucks worth of stuff. But this year, I decided to roll the dice again, and I got a, uh, a horror box. And I love this box. I'm keeping this box no matter what, because that's cool. I like the uh, Hellraiser, Hellraiser box. That's really cool. And um, this was $40, and this honestly... This is promising because this is heavy. This has weight to it. So there's something substantial in here. So I actually have high hopes that there is actually some good stuff in here. We'll see. We're going to find out. We're going to find out right now. Let me readjust here a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's open this up. Let's see what's in here. Hopefully it's good. I hope. I'll pray. Let's see. This is... This is an elaborate box here. <laughs> this, this is a puzzle box. 
we go. Okay. Whoop. What is this? Oh, okay. Okay. What is this? Okay. We have a uh, a metal sign here. Caution. Zombies. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of cool, actually. Okay. Okay. And what is this? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm unboxing a, uh, a horror block. A copy of Room Org. <laughs> okay, hey. I always like the reading material. Okay. 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 Um, what is this? Xenomorph, oh, from Alien. Xenomorph egg salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> I gotta look at this. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta look at this. I gotta look at this. Okay, so far, you know what? I'm liking this. Oh my god. That's disturbing. Look at that. That's crazy. Look at that. That's cool. Those are really nicely done, actually. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. I can't get it back in the box now. Get back in there. Get back in there. There you go. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Okay. Um, what is this? A Hollywood Horrors Bates Motel key ring. So let's take a look at this. So far, I will say, this is good. This is good. Oops, there we go. There you go. Bates Motel key ring. There you go. Not too bad. Not too bad. Okay. 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 This has not been bad. This has not been bad at all. We have a... Uh, ooh, this is nice. Wow. We got a nice pin here of the Hellraiser puzzle box. That's really nicely done. Look at that. That's really cool. That's really cool. The Lament Configuration Enamel Pin. That's really nice. That's really nice. I love these pins. I love pins like this. That's really cool. I like that. I like that very much. And the last thing... Oh, no, wait. There's two more things in here. There's a lot of stuff in here. We got... Oh, wow. A, uh, we got a cell phone case. A Ghostbusters cell phone case. And this is for what? iPhone 6 and 6S. Which means... Will this fit my phone? No, it'll fit my phone. I have a 7, so, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. Ah, it will fit my phone. Ah. Hey, that's pretty cool. Who are you going to call? Okay. Cool. Cool. And, um, oh, there's still more stuff in here. There's more stuff. There's a lot of stuff in this. What is this? Jigsaw. Jigsaw bottle opener magnets from Saw. I like the Saw movies. It's a, a, a box, a box in a box. It's a box in a box. And it just started raining really heavy. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear like the water running through the, through the drains there, but oh wow. Well. Oh wow, that's actually pretty cool. Look at that. Puppet. It's a bottle opener. That's pretty cool. That's cool. This is metal. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. I am impressed. I am impressed. So far, this has been worth the money. And the last thing here is a mug. A mug of what? Oh, so. Get away! Ah! <laughs> it's a Ghostbusters mug. 
Apparently it glows in the dark. Ugly little spud, isn't he? He's got Slimer there. That's cool. That's a, that's a big mug too. Look at that. That's Wow. That's really cool. And that's it. That's everything in the box. That, I am impressed. That, as far as I'm concerned, was worth the money. That was cool. There's some good stuff in here. I like this. See, I was not disappointed. Definitely not disappointed. And I am definitely keeping this box. Because this is a cool box. This is staying. I can use this for storage. It's going to be a storage box. I like that. Which way are we going here? Again, it is a puzzle. It is a puzzle. Nope, I did it backwards. See? I'm not, I already messed up the puzzle. I already messed it all up. There we go. Yeah. I'm keeping this box on. Keeping it. I'm keeping it. But yeah. I did some good stuff in there. All right. Kudos. Kudos. All right. So, um, is that it? Is that it? I think that's it. That is it. That is it. That's, that's the whole haul. Let me angle back up here. So I'm not cutting off the top of my head. There we go. That's too high. No, a little bit lower. There we go. We're just adjusting here. Hey! All right. So there you go. There is the haul. There is the con. As always, it was a good time. Always look forward to it. Very cool. Um, I didn't get any autographs or anything this year. There was nobody there that I really wanted to see, that I, re that I really wanted to pay money to see anyway. There were people there that I just kind of walked by and like, hey, it's that person. Hey, look, it's that person. But didn't feel really compelled to spend money to actually get an autograph or a picture or anything. And prices on that stuff keeps going up every year. Like, it's crazy how much people are charging just to write their name on something. Or how much they're charging just to take a picture with them. There are some people charging like $60 just to take a picture with them. I'm like, mm, you know, but uh, yeah, people need to start lowering their prices on autographs and pictures because that's starting to get insane. But um, actually, it's, all, it's already insane, but it's just getting a little more so. But all in all, though, again, it was still a great time. Had a blast. Uh, thank you to everyone that I ran into. While I was there, as always, it was great to meet the viewers. Um, but yeah, so that is it. Comic Con 2020, see you there. But as of now, Comic Con 2019 was pretty fun. Got some cool stuff. I am happy. I am pleased. I need to rest because I'm still kind of tired and I'm a little sick. So, <laughs> but as far as um. Reviews go, we will go back to our regularly scheduled programming uh, tomorrow. So we'll get back into reviews, get back into the swing of things. Obviously, when I'm doing Comic-Con, I go on my little break. Um, even though I did put up a video on Saturday for the, uh, the Geo Ride Watch, because I just... I didn't want people bugging me about that thing for another week, so I was like, let me just let me just do this one real quick and put it out there just to get that done and over with. But, um, but yeah, it was still a nice little break. And we're going to get back into the swing of things. So, as always, very cool. Very fun. Got some good stuff. That mystery box was really good. That was good stuff right there. But, yeah. So, there you go. See you next year at the con. And as always, this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be a geek. Be proud. Home in your face.